In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to set up a Tweepy streaming object for the Twitter API version 2 reference. I already have Tweepy set up, but if you don't have Tweepy set up, you can watch this video at the top right of the screen, or you can click the link in the description. Also remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and check out my other social medias for updates on the projects I'm currently working on. All right, so we're back in Visual Studio Code. In this video, we'll be creating a Twitter stream, which basically just means we're going to be writing a program that gets tweets as they're being posted. So for example, if we want tweets about Python, then we can create a Twitter stream that will retrieve all the recent tweets about Python as they're being posted onto Twitter. That's exactly what we're going to do now. We'll be creating a Twitter stream that retrieves tweets that includes at least one of the following terms, Python, coding, and programming. We'll need another library first called time. So up here, just import time. We can then create a list containing all the terms we want to filter. So we'll call this search terms. And in it will be a list containing strings of the following terms. Python, programming, and coding. You can add as many as you want here, and it also doesn't have to revolve around coding or computers. You can pass anything in here. We'll then create a class called myStream, and we'll make it inherit from the Tweepy streaming client class. This stream class will then later be used to create the actual stream. Inside of the class, we now have access to some functions inherited from the streaming client class. One of the functions is the following, def on connect self, and then just inside of it, type print, and then in quotations, connect it. Basically, this function will run once the stream comes alive and starts working. We have some more functions to play around with, but probably the most important one is the onTweet function, which basically gets called once the stream detects a tweet that matches the filter criteria. To use this function, we type def onTweet, then we use the parameters self and tweet. This tweet parameter will represent the tweet that the stream detects. Tweets have these properties belonging to them, and one of those properties is called referenced tweets, and it basically stores information which determines if a certain tweet is either a retweet or a reply. If this reference tweets property is set to none, then it means that the tweet is original and doesn't reference any other tweets in any way. The reason I'm bringing up this property is because we'll be using it to discard tweets that are replies because we're only interested in original tweets. We can do this by typing if tweet dot referenced tweets is equal to none, then we'll just print the text of the tweet for now. After printing a tweet, we'll add a delay of 0.2 seconds to the code just so we don't don't get bombarded with tweets. So this time.sleep 0.2 line will do it. This number here represents the delay in seconds, and so this will be 0.2 seconds. Outside of the stream class, we can create an instance of the stream object by typing stream equals my stream, and then in here we need to pass the bearer token that we specified earlier. We then need to actually use the terms we created earlier to filter the tweets. So to do that, we'll be looping through each term. So we type for term in search terms, and then inside the loop, we type stream dot add rules. Inside of this we type tweepy dot stream rule and then we pass term in here. This whole chunk of code will go through each term we specified here and then add them as rules, which basically means we'll be searching for tweets that contain at least one of these words. We now have one final line of code and it's to start the actual process of streaming and filtering the tweets. Stream dot filter. If we were to now run our code, this would filter the tweets, but there's a problem. Even with this line of code here, we're still going to receive tweets that are retweets or replies. The reason behind this is that the stream doesn't yet have access to this referenced tweets property. So we need to give it access down here by passing an argument to a parameter called tweet fields. We need to pass a list containing a string that says referenced tweets. Basically, this line of code will filter the tweets correctly and will also give the class to the referenced tweets property. Now we can finally run this code and we should slowly start to see tweets coming in and being displayed onto the terminal. We can see that all of these tweets contain at least one of our specified terms. These tweets are also original and not replies or retweets. It's important to know that when creating stream rules, those rules don't get deleted once you stop the bot. So if I were to add more rules here, the old rules won't get deleted. To work with the different rules, you can use these other two functions. This one gets the rules and this one deletes them. It's also important to know that there are better ways to create this same program, but that's a bit more complicated and so I'll be leaving it for future videos. With all that said, please remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn on bell notifications. Also check out my other social media for updates on the projects I'm currently working on. Other than that, I hope this video was helpful and I also hope to see you in the next one.